Oh, it's okay. You just want to make a friend, don't you? <laughs> Morning. Morning. You got ten on this one. How much is that one? Uh, those are uh, twenty-five pound weights on each end, plus the bar. Fifteen dollars for the pearl bar and weights. Okay. And ten dollars for the, the hand dumbbell and weights. Okay. About twenty for the pair. Would you do that? Yep. All right. Thank you. You have to carry them. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Uh, two golds in uh, Indianapolis. Got back in Fort Wayne. Wow. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's okay. You just want to make a friend, don't you? And I had her inside and she was barking her head off. Oh, yeah. You got to see everybody. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? How much is your uh, arrow garden? Oh, I got a little sticker on there somewhere. Oh, I might have missed it. I'm sorry. Ten dollars. I see it. Yeah, ten dollars. I will take it. Okay. I'll keep looking around, and see what else I can find. Yeah. Would you go ten on this one? Ten on that one. How about fifteen? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, twenty-five bucks. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day. You too. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Would you do 40 for the Xbox stuff? Yeah, I would. Okay. Oh yeah. Got it when they were, I mean, probably eight years ago, and uh, that's been the extent of our game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. No. I'm gonna get this for 15 and this for three. Okay. Oh yeah, 18. Probably need two. Yep, if you got two, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Is your machine for sale? Oh no. No? Okay. Just thought I'd ask. What's up guys? It is Saturday morning. Yesterday I went to a handful of garage sales and got some pretty good stuff. I got it all pulled out and I'm going to show you what I bought. I got an Xbox 360 at one sale. It had a bunch of games, a couple controllers, has the Kinect, and I opened it up and it had the um, 250 gigabyte hard drive. I actually didn't know that's how you uh, found those until a buddy uh, of mine named Michael Shout out to Michael, uh, about a year and a half, two years ago was telling me about that. So now I'm always looking for them because the uh, 250 gig uh, sells for a little bit more money. I didn't want to spend a lot on these because honestly, Xbox 360s, it's like 50-50 on whether or not they work for me. I've had really bad luck with these not working. So 
whenever I buy them, I try to only spend as much that I could recoup from the game. So like this game right here is like 20, 25 bucks. The Just Dance, I could maybe lot up the four of them and maybe get 15 or 20 bucks. And then if I had to just sell the controllers themselves, I could probably get another 25, 30 bucks. So there's a little bit of profit there if the system doesn't work. If it does work, this one with the 250 gig hard drive is selling for around $80 or something like that. Got this little pile. I think this is a... Uh, amplifier a little stereo amplifier nothing you know super high tech or anything like that i don't think it's very expensive new i paid 15 for it looked like used ones were selling around 25 or 30 so probably not a ton of profit to be made on that one got a big box of legos for five bucks these are the lego friends looks like there's a couple of manuals for them in here just a lot of loose stuff i saw some minifigs I don't mess with a lot of loose Lego, but my buddy Tony has been selling them on whatnot and doing really well with them. So anytime I find them cheap, I just go ahead and pick them up for him. I got this Disney Princess Castle. Uh, it's Little People. I've been finding a bunch of Little People stuff lately. Last week at one sale, I got a ton of Little People, so I've been kind of keeping an eye out for it. This set right here, without the figures, I saw sold for $35. Um, and they've got like all the princesses here. You got Belle, Cinderella, Ariel's in there, all the extra little pieces. Paid 15 for everything. I'm thinking it might sell for about 50 bucks. It is kind of big, might be a pain to ship, but it looks like it kind of breaks apart in certain spots. So I'll just tear that down and uh, make it a little bit easier to ship. But yeah, guys, keep an eye out for little people. I've already sold some of those uh, pieces I got from that garage sale last week. At that same sale, I got this uh, thermos. It has the... Uh, metal casing on the outside really clean has a cool look to it i paid three bucks i was hoping these would be worth a little bit more they're only selling for about 20 bucks i got this miracle grow aero garden it was new in the packaging i opened it up and you could tell that it never got taken out and used had all the original packaging material everything was still sealed and i've sold a handful of these over the years and they always do really well i paid ten dollars for this it sells for about ninety dollars but our foster daughter has a green thumb, likes growing plants and different things. So we thought this would be fun for her to keep in her room. Uh, she said she wanted it. So we're going to give it to her to uh, kind of have a fun little plant growing project. And last things I bought are these um, Olympic uh, dumbbell handle and curling bar. So this dumbbell handle had, let's see, 10, 20. And I think these are 10s right here. Yeah, so this one has 40 pounds, this one has 50 pounds, so there's 90 pounds total, plus the bars. I paid $20. I think, I mean, I got to see what Plate Against paying for um, these plate weights. I would think I could get around $30, maybe $40, just for the weights, and then another, hopefully another $30 for the bars. So I'm probably just going to take these to Plate again and uh, flip them to them, see what they'll pay for them. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.